Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. It's Bella here. In today's tutorial, I created this makeup look for you guys. So if you want to see how I achieved the look, then just keep on watching. And if you guys want to be entered in this month's giveaway, where we, we will be picking one lucky subscriber to win a huge box of makeup, then go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure that you are subscribed to our channel. Make sure that you hit that bell button and turn your post notifications on so that you never ever miss a video. And if you are located in the United States, then go ahead and comment done down below to be automatically entered. So the first thing that I did was I grabbed my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. You guys already know this is my go-to primer. It's not a primer, it's obviously a concealer, but I like the fact that it's full coverage because it cancels out any discoloration on my eyelid and I feel like it's super long wearing and I always set it in place with some translucent powder. The palette that I went in with is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Collection Volume 2 and this is what the inside looks like. It does have a bunch of bright colors, but I feel that you can use it in a wearable wear way as well. So the first shade that I went in with is the shade D4, which is this bright, vibrant yellow shade. And I just put that in my crease as my transition shade going in back and forth motions. Next, I grabbed the shade C5 and I grabbed a defined angled brush. To apply this shade to my crease and when I'm going in with darker eyeshadows you guys will see me using a defined brush because you just have more precision with the eyeshadow placement and if you go in with a brush that's too fluffy with a dark eyeshadow it might just put the eyeshadow everywhere so I like using a defined angled brush because it just puts it exactly where I want it and then I always go in with a fluffy brush right after I grabbed that first transition shade and I just went in back and forth motions and circular motions just to make sure that that line is blended out. Next I went in with my ColourPop Glitterly Obsessed Body Glitter and just a heads up these body glitters are actually designed for the body so if you have really sensitive eyes I would not recommend this on the eye just go in with a regular glitter but I have no irritation when using these and I like the fact that I don't have to go in with a separate glitter glue and I used the shade Star Party and I just packed it all over my eyelid. But yeah, if you are the type of person that does not have super sensitive eyes, then maybe go ahead and use it and give it a shot. But I just wanted to give that disclaimer for those of you guys that do have sensitive eyes. I went in with the shade C5 once again and I started to pack that on the outer lid area, tapering it inwards, stopping when I hit the center of the lid. Kind of putting it where I would put a wing liner on only on the second half of my eyelid. Next, I went in with my Sophie Bella lashes. And for those of you guys that do not know, Sophie Bella is our lash brand. I will always leave a link in the description box down below for those of you guys that want to check out our lashes. We have a full collection of different styles. And the style that I went in with today is Bahama. And I feel like it's super dramatic but also super wearable because you could see through the lashes. So all that hard work that you did does not get covered up with a super harsh lash, which I love. And then I went into that first yellow shade, but I just went in super lightly. And then I went in with that C5 eyeshadow. And I also went back into that yellow shade just to blend everything out to make sure that there are no harsh lines. And then the last thing that I did was I applied some lower lash mascara and that's it. That's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you, if you did, then please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you guys so much for all of your love and support and I will be seeing you in the next one. Bye!